To the Space Coast now, where NASA is counting down to an overnight launch of a vast mission to study our planet's health from space. It is called PACE, and News 6's James Barbero shows us how the spacecraft is forecasting change by uncovering the mysteries of our oceans and atmosphere. You likely learned in school that the Earth is 70% water, but did you also know that we've only explored about 5% of the world's oceans? With that fact in mind from NOAA, NASA is wondering what microscopic algae called phytoplankton, the base of the marine food chain, could teach the space agency about harmful algae blooms. Over the years, Brevard County has become very familiar with fish kills in the Indian River Lagoon. And back in 2018, I also reported when the county blamed red tide for a loss of thousands of fish. Two press conferences over the last two days at Kennedy Space Center told us NASA's scientists have been working toward this historic launch for 20 years. In many ways, we know more about the surface of the moon than we do about our own oceans. PACE will be the most advanced mission we've ever launched to study ocean biology. Studying that biology of the ocean and the atmosphere includes how NASA says our planet is hotter than ever. NASA says PACE could influence decisions to protect the planet from changing weather patterns. And one of the great things about a, a mission like PACE is it's going to give us a better understanding of the exchange of carbon between the ocean and the atmosphere. And the more carbon in the atmosphere, the more heat we trap. The forecast overnight is mostly unfavorable, but right now NASA says the launch is a go. Liftoff is scheduled for 1.33 in the morning. And even if you don't plan to stay up, you might wake up anyways because SpaceX is planning to land the booster here at the Cape, so expect to hear a sonic boom. In Cape Canaveral, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news six.